In previous versions of Project, the default mode of adding a task would be auto scheduling, so when you added the task, Project would automatically add the duration, the start and the finish dates, all based upon dependencies, constraints, calendar, and other factors. If you don't want to have Project automatically adjust the task in relation to other tasks, as just mentioned, based upon dependencies, constraints, and so on, then new to Project 2010 is the manually scheduled task mode. The manually scheduled mode is the default task mode for all new tasks that you add to your project. How do you find out? Well, just come down below and you can see in the status bar that all new tasks will be manually scheduled, as opposed to when I click on it, in previous versions of project it was always automatically scheduled. You didn't have manually scheduled. And you can see here that when it's auto scheduled, task dates are calculated by project and you don't have to do that manually, which I prefer. Let's go ahead and take a look at this when I come up here and I add a new task to see how that is manually scheduled. So if I type in, I mean, who doesn't need to clean their fridge out? Let me go ahead and uh, hit enter. When I add it, you can see over here, new to project 2010 is the task mode to show you that with the push pin, it means it's been manually scheduled. You can see down below there's the push pin, so the icon represents manually scheduled as opposed to if you do something automatically scheduled, you'll see that icon in the task mode column. So let me go ahead and click off and it's got a question mark. When you hover over it, it says that more information is needed and it shades those cells that it needs information to go ahead and complete this task when you add to it so it can be scheduled and it will remove the uh, question mark when you go ahead and fill in those shaded fields. Like the duration, if I type in 1D for day and I hit enter, the question mark's still there even though it unshaded the start date. So we need to add the start date, which my project begins, as you recall, August 31st of 2010. So if I click on the drop down arrow, well, I'm in 2013, I have to go back, 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 or you can just go ahead and type it in, 8 slash 31 slash 10, and hit enter, and there you go. The question mark has been removed because we have the task, and we have the amount of time it takes to complete the task, and when it's going to be starting. And you can see down below when I arrow over, there are more columns within the entry table, and you can see that it finishes the same day because when I start in the morning on the task or whoever, it's only one day, so I can finish the same day. Let me go ahead and scroll back. Okay, let's go ahead and add another task, but before I do that, let's change it from down below in the status bar from manually to automatically scheduled. You can see when I add something, it'll have that icon when it's in auto scheduled mode over in the task mode column. Vacuum the living room. I mean, all these tasks, the reason why I bring them up here is because they're on my mind and I better do it. In any case, go ahead and hit enter and there you go. You can see the differences between the two. It's either going to be manually, push pin, or automatically with the uh, bar here and the little arrow that says, hey, not only have you typed in the task, but we've uh, automatically added the duration and the start and finish dates, which coincidentally, notice that it just didn't pick a random start date. It picked the uh, project start date. It will always do that when you add new tasks. So that way, when I come up here and I click in it and I click on the drop down arrow saying, no, 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 you're not starting the same day that project's starting. I got another task for that. Then you don't have that far to go, right? When you want to choose another day. Let me go ahead and click off and click outside of it. And then it's got one day question mark. It's to signify or let you know that, hey, we have automatically scheduled it, but is this the amount of time you want to spend on the task or the amount of time it takes to complete the task? To go ahead and get rid of the question mark, just type in another duration, even if it's the uh, same duration, like 1D for one day, and hit enter, and there you go. Now, if you wanted to, in the middle of your project, if you're like, mm, I want to go ahead and do this automatic, you can click on it and change it, go to All Scheduled, change the icon, it won't change or adjust the duration or start dates, it just changes the mode here. So from here on out, it'll have the benefits of Auto Scheduled, it won't automatically adjust this here, at least not when we're entering it as a new task. And then you can come down here and change that to manually scheduled and then go ahead and click off. And it highlights that because it says, okay, now go ahead and change it. And if you don't, and you still like the uh, duration, the start and finish dates, then don't worry about it. It's just highlighting those areas that it thinks that you may want to go ahead and adjust when you have it in manual mode, switching it over. The con for using manually scheduled mode is that you lose the benefits of project adjusting the task dates when linked to other tasks and you may not see warnings if there are problems with the entered values. Really, Microsoft states that the best use for the uh, manually scheduled task mode is in the proposal phase when nothing is set and then 
go ahead and switch the task to automatically scheduling mode after proposals are accepted and just before the project starts. And is why Microsoft has this as the default task mode. I have an example of this in a later training video after we added additional data to our project to work with. As far as the rest of these training videos, what we'll be uh, scheduling the task in and working within is going to be the automatically scheduled task mode. So having said that, if I want to go ahead and delete these tasks here, I can just come up here. Over in the uh, row header column, you can see that I've got a black arrow pointing to the right. If I click and drag down, it'll select as many tasks. I dragged it down to well, just the second row, two rows, hit the delete key on the keyboard, it gets rid of it. And then if you want to turn off notification, if you don't like the notification every time you open a project, it'll pop up down below. So for example, if I go ahead and um, click on File, and we go to New, and I open up Link Project, double click on it, you see there's a notification. If you don't want to be notified, have it popped up every time saying, hey, you're in uh, manually scheduled mode, the new task, then go ahead and give it a right click on the status bar and uncheck new task mode notification. Try to say that really fast. Let me go ahead and uncheck it. So when I open up project again, let me click off file to new, double click. I don't get that pop up. Okay, cool. Also, if you don't want to see this down below, that new task will be manually scheduled or automatically scheduled, whatever your default is, you can right click on that and uncheck new task. So you don't know which mode you're in. Well, if you have it set up that it's always going to be defaulted, to automatically scheduled in this project or all new projects, then I guess it doesn't matter if you see it down below, which brings up a good point or a great segue. How do you go ahead and change the default from manually scheduled task mode for this project or all new projects? Well, come up here, click on the file tab, go down to options, select the schedule category, come down here to scheduling options for this project, and it's going to be for this project, project two, or it's going to be manually scheduled, or is it going to be for all new projects? We want it to be auto scheduled. Go ahead and click Okie Dokie. And so any new projects that I come up here and click on File, go down to New, double click Blank Project, and I add a task. We'll just type in Add Task. There you go. Automatically scheduled the mode that is here. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.